And we kick start this newscast with the latest coming in on an encounter that broke out in Thral last evening in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, cordon and search operations are still underway in Thral's Reshi Mohalla area as firing resumed this morning. As per reports, two to three Hezbollah Mujahideen terrorists are believed to have been trapped by our forces. The operation is being carried out jointly by the CRPF, Army and the Jammu and Kashmir Police. To bring us more details on this new story, I'm joined in by our correspondent Ishan Vani, who joins us on the phone line. Ishan, what is the latest that you are picking on? I believe Thral is a sub-district of Pulwama, so clearly Pulwama remains on the boil. Well, yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, Pulwama has the highest number of militants in the Kashmir Valley, and that is where the main hot belt is, particularly in the Thral belt, where you have seen traditionally a lot of militants coming from. And this particular encounter started early this uh, early yesterday uh, in the evening when security forces laid a cordon up receiving a type of battle presence in Mir Mohalla area. Although there was initially just a few uh, exchange of fire that took place between uh, the militants and the security forces. And soon after the brief exchange of gunfire, uh, the militants had managed to escape from the site. But the cordon was intact and was laid around that particular village so that no militant escaped uh, taking a advantage of dark conditions. And uh, in the morning with the first light, the forces again started the searches in the area. And that is when uh, they were able to track down these militants. Now, what we're learning from the sources is that uh, they are uh, in, uh, that uh, operation is in advanced stage mm -hmm. and uh, they might very well soon, uh, you know, end this operation and neutralize right. the militants. They're expecting three militants in this particular encounter. All right, Ishan, the large number of casualties in terror encounters in Kashmir has been pointing out, I mean, the latest being Kupwara, where we lost five security person personals. The, this also points to the need of deploying NSG commandos for such operations when, you know, their core efficiency is counter-terrorism. Why has there been such a limited use of NSG commandos in terror operations in the valley? Well, uh, there are energy commandos who are in the valley, given the fact that since after Let Bora encounter, which, which was a Sophidine attack, and soon after that, the center has deployed uh, energy commandos here to train the security forces, but they haven't really come on the field and uh, done operations. At the same time, since the Pulwama attack, the forces have been taking a lot of casualties, be it the Pulwama encounter, where uh, these all uh, people who are behind the Pulwama terror, terror attack were killed, or later on the beat in uh, Kulgam district, we saw that how five security force personals were actually killed in a particular encounter. Right. But given the fact that both army and army's para commandos who are essentially trained in this particular combat, including the Jammu Kashmir Police's special operation group, and CRPF has its own wing of commandos who deal with certain kind of operations, they also have such expertise. Uh, but they haven't, we haven't seen them really operation the energy. At the same time, there has been some criticism that why has the energy come on the ground and taken the situation under control in certain operations, given the fact they have expertise in dealing with uh, these modern combats where uh, they have uh, a small uh, area of uh, where which comes under fire. But uh, really, it has been something which has been in the pipe but hasn't been executed on the ground, uh, given the fact that because army and the police are the main right. and who are dealing with this operation, it may demoralize them in the Kashmir Valley from taking them back uh, from the counter-terror operation mm -hmm. to the security. So that is what the uh, center may be fearing. But the energy commanders are very much here. They're at the BSF Sumama camp, but they haven't been really deployed, although they have trained several uh, men in the past, but uh, we haven't seen them on in Absolutely, the and maybe that is one option that the center can finally explore since the situation between India and Pakistan is only getting more tense by the day. Thank you so much, Ishan Wani, for bringing us all the latest.